But maybe our next guy will have a sufficient uh, out of rapé. J371 in the house. How you doing, good sir? Oh, good, man. I can't believe I'm talking to you guys. Hell yeah, All right. Man. You're on the air. What's going on? Uh, I actually just got on the stream. I just got back from my son's scout meeting, so uh, I, I right. can't believe I got through to you guys. No, it's all good, bro. Scout meeting. That's good. You're talking Boy yeah. Scouts? Yeah. They still exist? Well, they're <laughs> they just do, the and scouts there's actually now. not a single girl in this troop, which is good. Woo-hoo! Good. <laughs> good. Now you just got to be aware of the pedos, and we're all good. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's why I'm there with them. That's why you conceal carry. <laughs> yeah. Listen, when I was in Boy Scouts, the scout masters I hit my head were squared away. Yeah. Squared away. And I remember uh, being in the bank. I'm in uniform, Green Beret, the whole deal. My old scout master is literally standing in front of me. And I'm like, yo, remember me, <laughs> Pop? He's like, oh, you're Sean Pop. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I was one of your Boy Scouts. <laughs> and I, go, so I just cool. want to thank you for being a good example. And he goes, no, I want to thank you for knocking it out of the fucking park, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that is badass. Yeah, yeah. And, and listen, uh, I mean, I had a great time in Boy Scouts when I was a kid. Uh, I did it for about, seriously, for about three years. I didn't really care about advancing in rank. I just like to shoot guns and go camping and fishing and shit. And uh, I think that's where my son's at. I mean, he's only 10, so yeah. he's uh, uh, oh, yeah. still pretty new in it. But, yeah, I get to start fires and shit. That's great. Yeah, I get to start fires. <laughs> I get to shoot bows and arrows. I get to do cool shit. Yeah. I, mean, I, I was all about it until I, I started playing football, and then I, that, that became my number one priority. And I'll tell you, the little bastard's already better shot than me. <laughs> well, he's got the younger eyes and the better reflexes. That's pretty much Damn how right. it works. Yeah. So All you're right. talking about the divorce rape stories, Divorce huh? rap, hey. Yeah, what uh-huh. do you got for us? Well, I mean, mine's not going to be anything too unusual, but uh, it was after uh, my mother had uh, passed away, and uh, she, uh, I ended up uh, after all – total there's about 150 grand that uh that i got from uh from my okay. mom so and, you uh, got a big chunk of money and, and she uh, wanted her part well i you know i was trying to you know i was i was blue pilled as fuck you know I and i'm just you. uh, uh it, you know you've been wanting to get a get a new truck let's uh let's go get you the new truck and so I went and bought her an f-150 and uh-huh. uh, oh the oh, the furnace is kind of old well uh, you know why don't we get a new furnace and uh and you know we'll uh, we'll replace the water heater, and we got that bad spot on the roof. Well, it turns out the the guy that fixed the bad spot on the roof is the guy she was fucking. Ooh. But uh, mm. you know, but uh, so yeah, all total we spent you know between that. I mean, we went through close to half of uh, that money, and uh, it was about. And this was in a matter of like a month after my mom died, and and then I got the I'm not happy talk. Oh, of course, you know, yeah. and the magic words <coughs> that make half your shit disappear so, in twenty years of your life. Within a right. month of your mom dying, you yeah. got the I'm not happy talk. Uh huh. Yep. So uh, I was like, well, shit, I just blew all the money. So I would I took what I had left, and uh, I'm not far. I mean, we were living. We had a well. She's still living there. Nice. It's, it's a six bedroom house uh, in uh, Tecumseh, Michigan. And, uh, you know, right. a beautiful place. It was the, you know, a, a two and a half acres is a house I always wanted. Well, now her and that dude she was fucking are, are living need, there. You need to get your hands on administrative violence and crank up the heat on this bitch. And oh, yeah. She's banging. Well, we were, we had bought a house in Ipsy and, uh, you know, that That's one a bad wasn't good enough. Yeah. <laughs> it was. So that wasn't good enough once uh, our son came along. But it was, uh, we, we had bought that one during, you know, the whole you know, housing crunch. And so that house, uh, come to find out, uh, the way the laws are, uh, I don't know if it's countrywide, but at least in Michigan, because of, uh, the way the laws used to work, the woman has to be on the title. Uh, it's so, called, dowry, but, it's called dowry rights. If you marry a woman, she gets an ownership interest in all of the properties that you own. You right, have to so, literally have to jump through hoops to keep that from happening. So what we, you know, at the time, you know, okay, so uh, she was on the title of that house, and uh, but so when we we ended up walking away from it because we found a house down here, you know, closer to her family, and uh, you know, so I my credit took the monster hit on that, and then yep. uh, we worked it out with the new house where that was solely in her name. That's a mistake. And, uh, uh, so yeah, guys, don't do that. <laughs> and. 
So I, I got screwed on that. I So I was able to take what money I had left. I bought a little house, uh, just a little two-bedroom rundown shack that I'm living in now. But, you know, it's... Uh, it's and now I'm, I got gotcha. you. Right. But now I'm having trouble because I'm so I'm paying close to 600 a month in child support. Uh-huh. And uh, so Good I can't point. really I'm I'm having trouble even keeping up on the taxes on this place. I don't know what I'm going to do. But, uh, yeah, it was uh, a few years ago. It was just a, it was one day before Christmas Eve. I was here with my oh. son. I get the knock on the door. You've been served. You gotcha. know, and so, you know, my son's what's that, dad? That's uh, that's divorce papers, son. You know, and uh, mm-hmm. so now he's, uh, you know, I'm I'm that every other weekend, couple of nights on the weekend, Dad. You know, after, yeah, I had uh, it was uh, not long. It were not like right after uh, I had bought all that stuff, and right before my mom died, I uh-huh. get this random uh, message on Facebook, and it was from this guy's wife saying, "Hey, I want to let you know my husband and your wife have been fucking around since August." Wow. Uh, here's a, here's a side note. Um, Damn, I know a couple guys who were getting divorced, right? And uh, while they were going through the paperwork shuffle of the divorce, this one guy was living in the house, and he knew he wasn't going to get it. He, he, he was just going to get fucked out of the house, so he inf- infested the house with cockroaches <gasps> and rats. <laughs> And, and carpenter ants, <laughs> fucking classic. Wow. Uh, if my God. son, if my son wasn't there most of the time, I'd consider something. Well, like five. That. It wow. took about five years. Okay, the carpenter ants, you know, destroyed some major parts of the structural integrity of the house. <laughs> the rats destroyed the foundation, digging in and out. Oh my okay. God. And it, literally, she had the house, and she had to have exterminators come in like every other month. To, wow. to spray the cockroaches. <laughs> Fucking, I, I literally, when he told me that, I literally stood up and I'm like. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a golf clap. I'm like, fuck yeah. <laughs> and so after and what all you, that. You can't, you can't prove anything. No. <laughs> right. It was after all that stuff that I went through that my brother had actually uh, uh, told me about uh, you guys. And so uh, that's why it's uh, 371 because I'm 371 on your board. Outstanding, and, uh, bro. And, and, hey, uh, when did you get your number three seventy one? Was that what two years ago, something like that? I've got to be a, maybe a little longer than that. Oh, yeah, I'm okay. not sure. All right, yeah, yeah, I got you. But uh, yeah, it's uh, and it was it's now like my son is uh, like I said, he's only ten, but he's uh, he's he, he started asking questions. Uh, what did mom was mom cheating on you? I'm like, buddy, that's you know that I, that's not something that you and I are going to talk about. You well, know, no, you, you, you listen. This is what you tell your son. You are 10 years old now. I will answer this question when you're 15. Because when he gets about 15, he should be able to handle what, you know, what's going on. Because by right. the time well, I was knows. by the time I was 15, I, I knew everything. Uh, I knew about sex and gays and all the fucking right. horrible shit, the serial killers, how fucked up this world is. I knew it by 15. Uh, he knows, and he doesn't think much of uh, much of this guy. And I'll t- it's uh, it w- I'll tell you, it was one of your episodes that uh, it was Handyman Habitat. Yep. That uh, that uh, really uh, I needed the laugh because that's what this guy is. Yep. He's uh, <laughs> that was his job. He was a handyman. The uh, and uh, she and she inherited her stepdad's company. She's got money falling out her ass. Oh, okay. Uh, oh boy. You can report her to the IRS. You can report her to the state tax commission for for uh, you know not paying taxes. You can literally say she's got three or four million in crypto and she's hiding it. They will climb up her ass with a you know with a microscope. Yep. Listen, so all what I'm doing now is I'm just waiting because I mean relationships that start out the way theirs do don't last. I'm surprised it's lasted this long. I just want to watch the implosion. Okay. I just don't want my son to be hurt in the process. I, no, I get it. I got it. But in reality, if it really got bad, he can come live with you. Yeah, yeah. And when he's about he's, 12, when he's 12 years old, he's old enough to make the decision who he wants to live with. See, I didn't think in Michigan that was allowed. No, no, it is. And, like, I had my ex-wife in court pretty much once a month for over two years to get more vis- more time with my kids. And I would highly advise you to do the same thing. 
and just go. Yeah, I'm, not, okay. I'm not satisfied with this 96 hours a month bullshit. I, I want three absolutely. We- I want three weekends, or I want one third of the month, or I want fucking half. Right? Yeah, yeah I at least want fifty fifty because the child support's killing me. If well, you could go. That, you could I'd go back right. and ask for fifty fifty. You really can. And if they deny it and they want to drag their feet, uh, you know, get the administrative violence and make everyone's life a fucking nightmare. Do we? I mean, I know he's he's in the big beautiful house right now, but he told me he's a dad. I'm happier here. I don't like it there. You know, I, I, I can't stand him, uh, you know, and I'm just like, there's nothing I can do about it right now, buddy. But uh, yeah. as soon as we get as soon as we can, we'll we'll see what we can do. All right. And if he ever touches your child or hits him <laughs> or does some crazy shit like that before you go uh, giving somebody a 12 gauge enema, hmm. you involve the police, you file an emergency change of venue or, or custody with the kid. You get CPS involved. E- literally. Um, yeah. I Well, I did use one of your lines. It was the first I kept getting for the longest time. Every time I go to cut my grass, there'd be Budweiser bottles on my lawn. I'm like, what the fuck? I, you know, what, what, and then I find out that that's what this guy drinks. And I was like, you know, I keep finding Budweiser bottles on my lawn. She's, well, what do you think? I'm over there. I was like, I, I don't know who's doing it. I'm just, I'm just saying, uh, uh-huh. if I find out who it is, they might get a JFK haircut. <laughs> <laughs> you know and she's like, what is that? I said, you know, a little off the top. <laughs> <laughs> I, haven't had a bottle on the lawn since. No one wants tranny fluid on their lawn. I'm just I got <laughs> All right, man. Well, thanks for calling in. And, thanks uh, for listening to me, man. Keep us and updated thanks, thanks on for, email. Sure, and thanks for doing what you guys do, man. All right, you're welcome, brother. Appreciate All it. Right, Take we care, will be good talking. Yeah, hope. Take it easy. Bye. Yeah, Bye. a handyman habitat. That's like I did that one seven or eight years. Yeah, ago. it's been a long time. It's a long time. It's a good one though, and still very true to this. And day. my my buddy Sportello came up with that name. Yeah, handyman habitat. <laughs> I was he said it, and I was like, holy shit! Oh yeah. That is some comedy <laughs> fucking gold right there, bro. <laughs> it works. Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Supporter Sundays, go to redonkulous.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the meat case box. 